Sorry. Okay, maybe Butters will run in here. Hey! Hi, everyone! I'm trying a different uh, audio setup, so let me know if you guys can hear us, if it sounds okay. Hope it's not like echoing or anything weird. Just let me know in the chat. Let's party. <laughs> let's eat. Yes, let's eat. Okay, so hi guys, my name is Mona. I have a YouTube channel as well. Um, I'm Glam Dr. Mona. And so today we're gonna be doing a live stream where we're gonna be doing a mukbang. And for those of you who don't know what a mukbang is, we basically eat and stuff our face while we talk to you and show you guys some stuff. <laughs> <laughs> so if we're embarrassing you by eating and talking or like offending you in any sort of way, I apologize in advance. Yes. <laughs> yeah. If you're not into like watching people eat, don't, don't watch us. This one's don't you watch us. Um, so before I forget, cause I always forget. Yes. First oh, do that. Shit. Sorry. What was that? See, Sorry. we are really live. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell was that? This That's yours. yours. No, oh, this yours. one's mine. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, Okay, before I forget, <laughs> the uh, curated brush collection that I did with Isam that is going to be back in stock January 23rd, which is a Thursday at 8 a.m. Pacific time. So 11 a.m. Eastern. Um, the brushes are awesome. I oh. use them every day, all the time. I'm like, I think the last five um, videos I've done, I've only been using Michelle's brushes because they are serious, like workhorse brushes. They're like awesome. Thank so make you. sure you sign up for the notification and get Thank them you. when they are restocked because they are awesome. And they're really, really, really good. Thank you. And I'm not just saying that because she's my really good friend. I really mean it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you have to show them what you're eating. Mm. <laughs> Sorry, I'm hungry. <laughs> Pizza. So she got a veggie pizza. Mm -hmm. um, this and, is from the Naked City. Yep. And then I got one do this. that has pepperoni sausage. Um, it's like a white pizza, so there's no tomato sauce. It has a garlic crust, and it has hot honey drizzled on it, which you can't see. But it smells so good. Now I'm going to show mine, too, then. Yeah. You okay, so them. I have a veggie pizza. It's got olives, tomatoes, onions, spinach, mushrooms, and it looks really, really good. So I apologize that I just dug right in because I am hungry. <laughs> and if you guys are ever in Vegas, this is from the Naked City Pizza Shop. <laughs> so it's like this. Hold up your slice again. It's like this, not quite as fluffy yes. Sicilian style. It's yeah. like a little bit more dense. And squared. It's kind of squared. It's so, so good. So, so good. Yeah. It's like really, um, it's not, it's, it has like a nice crunch to it, but it also has some like thickness to it too. Yeah. Is that yeah. Butters? She, yeah, she's downstairs. Oh. So Miss Butters is downstairs, at least for now, because otherwise our, our pizza would go missing. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, do you want to close the door maybe? Mm -hmm. Sorry. She's, oops, sorry. <laughs> Thank you. Mm -hmm. sorry. It's a little cramped in here. Yep. Um, okay, you're eating. So why don't I start with the haul? Yeah, let's do it. I'll start. We'll go back and forth. Yes. Um, so as you guys know, whenever Mona visits, we... Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he did just walk by. <laughs> he picked up butters from school. Yeah. Um, hello oh, yeah, everyone. you do see Chanel. Yes, there's Chanel back there. There it is. Oh it's God, definitely Chanel. there. Sorry. Sorry. Hello from Australia. Hi. Hi. Oh my gosh. So, so you guys know when Mona's in town, we love to go shopping. Mm -hmm. We love to go shopping. So we mm -hmm. hit the strip. We hit the Crystals Mall, the Fashion Show Mall, Bellagio, and Caesars. Mm -hmm. That's what we did this time. Um, so why don't I show you what I got at Sephora? Uh, this is the Sephora at the Forum Shops at Caesars that we went to. So I decided to get this NARS, what is it called? Tinted Glow Booster. I can't read. Tinted Glow Booster. I got it in the medium shade, which is like Simos, S-I-M-O-S, mm -hmm. uh, or Simos. And I thought the light was a little bit too light. It looked- Yeah, it looked a little too light. Yeah, like a little too- um, 
frosty. It's supposed to be kind of like how a Charlotte Tilbury did like a Hollywood flawless filter. Yeah. Where you can do different, you know, wear in different ways. You can put it like all over your, your face if you want. You can wear it more concentrated in a certain area. You can mix it with your foundation, you know, your primer, things like that. So it's kind of like a multi-purpose glow product. If we can get it out. <laughs> yeah, that's that's always the stuff we edit out. So that's the texture. It's actually a bit thicker than I thought. Oh, but it actually feels thin. This feels thinner than the uh, Charlotte Tilbury. Charlotte. Yeah. Do you want to? Oh, you're eating. Do you want to? Do you want to feel it? <laughs> oh, that is nice. Yeah, it's like. Um, and it gives you like a nice glow too. It's light. Yeah. That's pretty. You guys can see that. Yeah. Interesting. I think it's, I feel like it's less glowy than the Charlotte Tilbury. It though. is less glowy. But yeah, it's it might be a subdued. good thing. It could be a good thing. Mm -hmm. Yes. Sometimes with the Hollywood Flawless Filter, if I go a little overboard, I feel like I look greasy. Hi, yeah. Brenda. Hi, Kim. Hi, hey, howdy from Chicago. Chicago! Chicago in the house. <laughs> <laughs> I had to represent today. <laughs> Um, Kevin's asking, what's your opinion of the new Estee Lauder collection? The Act 4 one, the one that's at Nordstrom? I'm in love with the packaging, too. It looks like white marble. Yeah, it is very um, lovely packaging. I don't know. I really don't know how I feel about it because the eyeshadow quad looks a little too light mm -hmm. in color, so I think I would pass on that, but I'm very curious about the primer. Okay. I'm very curious about that loose powder that comes with the buff. Yeah, I don't know. I, I think I, I. it's like one of those things I feel like I need to see in person. Probably, yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, okay, so I got the NARS. Um, oh my goodness, hello from Henderson. I'm waiting for the Tom Ford Foundation to arrive at Nordstrom. I need to get color match because it looked gorgeous. Oh, thank you. It was, I. it's it's good. I really, really like the foundation. Um, yay, yay oh, Chicago! Waiting for the snowstorm to, no! oh. When is this, when is this? <laughs> I'm like, uh-oh. I'm going back to Chicago tomorrow. When is this supposed to snow? Oh my God, Emily, no! Hey, Linda. Hey, Laura. Sorry, I say I forgot to say hi to everyone before I. Oh, what do you in. think of the Tati Puff? We both got it today. Yeah, yeah. We were <laughs> this morning. We were both like, Michelle's like, um, I'm thinking about getting the Tati thing, and I'm like, Yeah, I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna do it right now. And so we literally just got it right then and there. I was like, Okay, let's <laughs> just try it out. Why not? You know? Why not? Um. Hello from Summerlin. Hi, Hello. Regina. Summerlin's um, a neighborhood here. Oh, cool. Like a, I'm a like, local person. Yeah. Um, but originally from Chicago. Nice. Uh, mucho snow soon. Oh, we didn't have to check your, yeah, your flight. Yeah, I need to check my flight then. That's okay. The CT is way better than the NARS. Once you get foundation on top of the NARS, you would never know you've got the NARS on. Mm, okay. That's good to know. Yeah. Kind of getting that, kind of getting that sense. Um, I'm curious to hear your thoughts on the puff. I'm just curious yeah i'm curious too i don't generally use puffs you know mm -hmm. like the ones that come uh with like loose powder um i keep them mm -hmm. just as sometimes i feel like using them but i don't use them normally what's the puff so tati uh tati westbrook mm -hmm. <laughs> just came out with the um she calls it the blendiful mm -hmm. and it's a set of two puffs one is fairly large it's mm -hmm. almost like a it looks like a guitar pick mm -hmm. and then one is one is heart-shaped and it's small mm -hmm. um one is supposed to be for travel Mm -hmm. The one is for like everyday kind of use. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. And for those of you who don't know who Tati Westbrook is, she's a really, really, really big YouTuber. Giant um, YouTuber. Giant YouTuber. Has subscribers in the millions and stuff and um, came out with her own brand last year. And she came out with a palette first. That was her first release. This is her second one. When so, you said last year, I was like, really that long ago? But yeah, it's 2020. It's 2020. <laughs> <laughs> That'll take me a while. Hi from the Philippines. Hello. Hello. Hey, Remy. Yeah. Um, okay. I got this. Oh, I got these samples. I'm like just inundated with samples. Do you want these? Sure. Okay. Um, and then the other thing I got from Sephora is the Hourglass Concealer. So I asked you guys if I should get it, and you guys said yes. Yes. So we did. Um, Pat McGrath Cream Highlight Duo, worth it. Which cream highlight duo? If you're talking about the little ones in the tubes, those are terrible, I think. Oh, the one in the stick, the Chanel instead, maybe. Um, 
I like I like the Pat McGrath cream highlight duo. It's yeah, probably it's not my pretty. favorite thing from her, mm -hmm. but it's fine. Um, so but Monster Mommy, CT Pillow Talk Thoughts. So I did purchase the 12 pan CT Pillow Talk palette and I am gonna purchase the rest of the collection that's gonna be coming out as well and we'll be doing a review on that. So for those of you who don't know me, I'm a huge Charlotte Tilbury fan and have been following her for years. And I like to call myself the self-proclaimed go-to person for Charlotte Tilbury products. So there will be a huge review for that. So look out for that. <laughs> Self-plugging. Um, <laughs> shameless self-plug. Do it, girl. Okay. This is... So I got the color cotton uh, for... The hourglass. I thought I got cream. Oh, no. I think cream was too light. No, you did. You got cotton. So cotton. Like today when you said creme, light. the cream one, I was like, I don't remember it being creme. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to be doing like a wear test with this, but just it looks really light. The, you know, the lighting in Sephora is so Horrible. horrible. Well, I felt like all those stores. Yeah, they were bad. They were really bad. bad. This, this will probably work. So here's the applicator. Actually, this looks exactly like their lip gloss. All of it, except the actual tube is like frosted. It's pretty. But there is the color. Oh, Michelle, my channel is called Glam, G-L-A-M, Dr. D-R, Mona. So Glam, Dr. Mona. I got rid of the con because hopefully I'm getting my divorce soon and we'll actually be able to finally officially get rid of that last name because that was my married last name. <laughs> Working on that. So I was like, you know what? 2020, it's a new year. It's just Glam DR Mona. Glam Dr. Mona. Yes. <laughs> yes. Okay, so that's all I got at Sephora. Okay. Do you want to go next? Sure. Okay. All right. Let's see. Let's do. I'm oh, going to open what? this drawer just yes. quickly. Sorry. Needed makeup wipes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we went to the Chanel store in the Bellagio. So the one in the Bellagio has like the bags. So right now I'm on this mission to find a new handbag. And so we went to a bunch of different places. We went to, um, let's see, we went to Dior and I fell in love with the Lady Dior handbag. It's like a really big one. It's like huge. And it was in this like really beautiful, like pewter blue kind of like color. And I fell in love with it and I was like, oh, I just want this so, so bad. But I was like, all right, let me keep looking. So we went to Gucci. I didn't find anything I wanted. We went to Celine. So I really like the Celine bag. What is it called? The luggage. The luggage. Oh, the micro? Medium. Medium. The medium one. Yeah. I really like that one. And it's in a like cool tone grayish color. So I think I'm going to get that one. I went to Chanel too to look at the bags and I fell in love with one that was like a deep navy color, but I'm going to hold off. I think I'm going to go with the, um, with the Celine. I think I'm going to go with that. So we went to Chanel, the boutique, and what I've been wanting is because I'm getting divorced soon, I wanted to get a Chanel ring because I wanted something to like make me be like, all right, I'm going to be single pretty soon. I want a ring for myself just to have and not on my ring finger anymore, but on like a different finger kind of thing. But they sold out of all of their costume jewelry rings. So I got to this. So let me open it for you. Doo -doo, doo -doo, doo -doo. It's like porn, but I have porn music on. <laughs> Kim says getting divorced was the best thing that happened to me. I know me too. Oh, well, I'm almost there. I, it's not official yet. But leaving that piece of, you know, was the best thing I've ever did. So check it out, guys. I had them, of course, wrap it very nicely for me because I love presents. <laughs> <laughs> we were like, we're going to do a live stream. Make it pretty. <laughs> Make it pretty. So there's a little Chanel Camellia right there. Yeah, exactly. A Chanel strip tease. You got it, baby. <laughs> you ready for this? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> oh! <laughs> okay so you open it up like this and there's like another chanel thing in there so here and then you guys ready for the reveal here's the here's the climax <laughs> oh let me make them straight one second hang on i'm getting there so i got these 
So they're like CC earrings. I hope you guys can see them. And they have like, they're like multicolored. So there's like pink, rhinestone in there, blue, green, orange, yellow. So it's kind of like rainbow kind of colors. Can they see that? Put it down. Put it down. It's focusing on your face. Yeah. Hold on. <laughs> Let me see if I could do it like this. Maybe. 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 No, it's focusing on our there face. There we go. Maybe a little bit better. Can you guys see that? <laughs> oh, my specialty, I'm a OBGYN. That's my specialty. But you guys like them? Aren't they pretty? So I got those. Now I got to put it back together because I want to open it like that again. <laughs> I, am I, I know I'm not the only person that puts things back in the box after opening it up. <laughs> Thanks, guys. I'm glad you guys like the earrings. <laughs> Sorry, doing a little modeling. Yep. Um, on this, <laughs> good for you, Mona. Yes, thank you, Lourdes. <laughs> hey, Beth. Brenda, love, love, loves the earrings. Thank you, <laughs> Laura. I love to reopen gifts. Right? It just, I just, like, it's just so much fun. Yeah. Oh, Heather Austin is here. Hey, Heather. <laughs> What's going on, girl? Hello. Do you keep your bags in their boxes? I do. I do now. I do. When I lived in New York, I didn't have room for the boxes. <laughs> they were all shoved. Shoved underneath my bed. Um, sorry, I have something in my chair. <laughs> okay, it's gone. Michelle, VB primer or by Terry? Glow elixir cream. I like the VB primer better. It's a little lighter. Anne's jealous of my pizza. This is so it's freaking really good. good. So freaking good. Um, a Vegas closet comes in way handy. Yeah. Now I feel like when they ask me if I want a box with it, I'm like, yes, yes, mm -hmm. I do. Mm -hmm. I want a box with it. <laughs> mm -hmm. Before I'd be like, no, don't bother. Yeah, the VB primer is awesome. I love it too. Do you want to show your makeup? Oh yeah. Or I got so busy eating. <laughs> okay. I got another one for you guys. Woo! <laughs> Wait, I'm just gonna hold this up. Someone's asking where the pizza's from. Are you Tiffany? Okay. So now <laughs> let me show you what else I got. So we went to the boutique at Caesars, the Chanel boutique at Caesars. That's like me and Michelle's like go-to. We always go there when I come into town. And so I have a little bit more strip tease for you guys. You ready for this? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Do you like the sound effects? <laughs> it's a little TMI. But no. <laughs> it's like, ooh. All right. So I'm trying to find a picture of the Chanel tote that you really liked. Oh, yeah. Someone was asking. One moment, please. <laughs> I'm trying to find Chanel's, uh, Mona's uh, Chanel tote that she liked. Are you guys New York? No, we're in Las Vegas, but we both love New York because we both lived there in the past before. Okay. Woo! <laughs> okay, so... Oh, she got a lot. I got a bunch of stuff. Mm -hmm. Good stuff. Okay. So first up, I got... So I did a review on the Chanel Spring Summer 2020 collection, and they came out with these um, liquid eyeshadows, and I got like three of the colors. I got the rose quartz, the um, kind of coppery one, and I got the darker purple one called Vastness. And then I wanted to look at the other two that were um, available or the ones released. And I ended up really liking this one. This one's called Desert Wind. So let me show you. This is like the darkest one. So it's a, it looks like a brown taupey color in the tube. But actually when you swatch it, it's kind of like a silvery cool tone taupe. It's a very interesting color. 
And this formula is really, really, really nice. So it looks like that. Can you guys see that? I love that it dries down completely, but yes. it doesn't feel Yeah, dry. and it's very like, like thin consistency. So you can't feel it on the eyes, which is really, really nice. It's a really, really pretty color. So I got that and that's in the shade 28 Desert Wind. Do you remember the name of the bag? Did it have a name? Oh, you know what? I took a picture of it, hold on. Let's see. Sorry, I just wanna find the picture of the tote bag that Mona was really interested in at Chanel. Get your opinion, see what you guys think. It was, whoa, Large Shopping. Is that really the name? Let's large see. Shopping. Chanel Navy Large Shopping. Maybe yeah. that'll bring up something. Yeah. It was uh, this one. No, no, it was this one. No, no, because it has a pocket in there. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> We're like, uh, okay, I'll look. You, you keep going. Okay. And I also got the um, multi-stick, multi-use glow stick in golden light. So I use the um, multi-use glow stick in the bomb. The, there's like a clear kind of one. I forget, it's like translucent or something. And I use that like all the time. That was one of my favorite, that was my favorite highlighter of 2019. And so I was like, all right, let me go ahead and take a look at this in person and see if I like it. And it is really, really pretty. So it looks like this. So it has more of like a golden tone to it. And then kind of do a heavy swatch, but you guys can see it right there. So it's going to be interesting. It's going to give you like a really nice glow and I'm going to use it as like a highlighter. And I'm going to try to use it as like a little bit of a bronzer too and see how That's I funny. like it. That one's it's really, so really pretty. pretty. Yeah, I, I really, really love these because it gives you a really nice wet glow. But it's also kind of natural looking at the same time. So you're not like, it's not a highlight that's in your face. Because one of the things I realized is I really, um, I love highlighters, but I don't like the really, really like intense ones. I like ones that kind of just look wet and look like you just have a glisten coming onto your cheek. So got those. They don't set down. No, they I don't. think Laura, I think you're talking about these sticks. No, they don't set down completely. I don't find them terribly tacky though. No, I don't, they have, they've been fine. I haven't but yeah, they're, de they're definitely still like emollient. Yeah. Okay. And so <laughs> Michelle and I, made it a point to make sure that we looked at our Chanel blush inventory before we went on this shopping trip. And Michelle even did an entire video where she showed all of her Chanel blushes. And you would think the girl would remember the blushes. <laughs> so I went a little blush crazy. So I hope you guys are ready for this one. Okay. So I will start by showing you this one this one's really pretty this is the blush in number 55 in love all right so oh yay sarah from better off red is here hello hi definitely check out her channel for show sure. so this is the shade in love it's really pretty it's like a peachy gold like goodness. Okay, so oh, I love the way Chanel like blushes smell. You ever... I feel like they toned it down a little though, right? Oh yeah, I remember when I was a kid, I used to be like, <clears throat> like when my mom yeah. would get them, but they're not as bad as it was when I was. So this is like a swatch of it. I mean, it's hard to swatch blushes because they're so sheer, but this is it right there. Mm -hmm. It's not doing justice in the camera, but believe me, it's like a beautiful color. You ended up getting a, this one too. Uh -huh. Cause it has like um, a golden sheen to it. It does. So pretty. Very, very pretty. Okay, so that is In Love. Very pretty color. Michelle, what are you thinking? You look so serious there. <laughs> She's probably like, food, good. <laughs> I know. I Michelle is like such you. a simple person. Like, she's like a dude. You're like a dude in the sense that like, you don't, I am. it's not a complex thought that Michelle ever has. It's a very like, 
simple, simple thought. Like it's right now, she's probably just not even actually having any thoughts going through her brain. <laughs> no, I'm just thinking about the hot honey. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> food good yeah, golden sun is a very good color too <laughs> yeah she's concentrating on that pizza okay so the next one i got is number 72 rose initial all right i got that one too this one's so pretty too mm -hmm. oh that's okay we'll pick that up later oh look at this it's like a really beautiful pink color oh, so pretty so pretty Okay, let me show you guys a swatch of this one. That's it right there. And then... It's so hard to swatch blushes because they're so sheer. Yeah, I found that out during my Chanel blush video. It's like a pink shade. It looks very bubblegum pink in the camera, but it's actually really, and I did it like a really heavy swatch. It is just so, so pretty. Yeah, this one's called, what was this called again? Rose Initial. Really pretty color. Um, I think, Diana, I, I think you're asking about my brush set. It's coming out, um, it's being restocked on January 23rd, yep. which is like in a couple of Thursdays at 8 a.m. Pacific. Yes. So set your alarm. Yeah. So, set, <laughs> so set your alarm. Set your alarm. Um, Does it have any shimmer in it? No, it doesn't. A little bit, yeah. Oh, it doesn't? No, I don't think this one has shimmer in it. I feel like it has a little... It's yeah, it does so have a luminosity to it. But no, no, oh, like, sparkles. Oh, thank you, Anne. Oh, thank you, nice. Anne. oh, I love the blue pair. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it does. You're right. It does have, like, a... It has a luminosity to it. So it's not matte, but there's no, like, glitter in it. Yeah. But it does have a luminosity to it. Yeah. And do you have the tweed pink? Yes, we both have the tweed pink. Yeah. <laughs> And it shows up. <laughs> I really thought it was going to be too pale, but it it shows up. And then the next one I got is Jersey, which is like a staple. Like, I'm surprised that I didn't already have it. So this is one that a lot of people talk about, and it's loved by a lot of different people. Mm -hmm. So this is... This is Jersey. So it's kind of like a nudie color. <laughs> Let me show you guys a swatch of this one. It's like a nudie color. Mm -hmm. and you're probably not going to see it very well on my skin. But it's like a nude brownie kind of color. So, so, so pretty. Under eye bright pro product. Um, I love the Giorgio Armani uh, Maestro master color corrector that one is really really good if you're looking for an under eye brightening product did they, did they discontinue that oh it, it's still around okay mm -hmm. okay um i like the sisley the stilo lumiere pen it has like a little sponge tip and you know one of those guys um there was another question here oh no someone was saying actually a few people were saying i should get elegance is that the blush that was glittery no i think that was I know pink explosion. Pink explosion. And then another one. I think elegance. Is that kind of like semi sparkly? Dolores, Jersey, Elegance, and Golden Sun. I can see that. Okay. Oh no. All right, I'll get it. I'll get it. Like. I didn't get elegance. I will get it. You know, the again, the lighting is so crappy in those yeah. stores, but they're really direct. So if something has glitter in it, it looks really glittery. Yeah, it does. Um oh, sorry. There's a lot of a lot of stuff coming in. Oh, from the Barney sale. Damn, I didn't think about Chanel blushes at the Barney sale. Do they even have them on there? They had them. I mean, oh. it's not going on anymore. Um, curious if you follow expiration date on makeup products. Not really. No. I just, when it mm -hmm. smells bad, it's bad. Yeah. Or when it's like when I'm like, damn, I've had this for a really long time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, do either of you have a favorite liquid blush? I like the M Cosmetics color drops. Liquid blush. Do you use liquid blush? No, not really. No. Okay. Maybe, you know, the Charlotte Silbury light beauty ones. Mm. That's a good liquid blush. Like That's the ones that like the pink and the peach that came out. Those are really nice liquid blushes. Cause it kind of gives you like that watercolor type of. Was the real pink one more a swatch called pink initial? Rose initial. Rose initial. Yeah. And then the last one I got is called Malice. And this is another one that's like a 
popular color. And I know this one is the one you already have. Mm -hmm. This is Malice. So pretty. Very, very pretty. Let's see. This one's definitely got a, like a shimmer to it. Mm. Kat's saying the shot to Kylo Kuh blush is awesome too. I agree. Ooh. Yeah. So let me see this right here. Um, yeah, that's Malice right there. It's like a corally kind of color. It's really, really pretty. The M is, it's kind of similar to the Suku. The M has like squalene in it. So it's a little bit um, more s slippy on the skin than the Suku. Yeah, coral red was really pretty, but it looked like it would be too dark on me. So that's the Dolores, that's the reason why I didn't get coral red, but I know which one you're talking about because we saw that over there yesterday. Hello. Hi. Do you have, mm. yes, we both have the eyeshadow and vastness. Yeah, that one's beautiful. We both love that shade. The Chanel liquid um, um, cream shadow and vastness, the purpley one. Oh yeah. Yeah, that one's, that one's really, pretty. really, really pretty. I really like that one a lot. Do you like evening beige? Which one's evening beige? Do I have it? <laughs> Is that the cream or the lip thing? No, it's a it's a powder blush. Mm. Hold on. Cause I didn't get it, right? Mm. No, we didn't get evening beige. I don't think so. Are you done? Should I? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. I'm done. Sorry. No, I just started to eat my food. <laughs> yeah, no, no. Um. So, I did a little damage at Chanel as well. <laughs> did I grab you any? No. Wait, what is all this stuff? Oh, she gave us a bunch of samples. Hi, Risa. Risa's on here too. Is she? People are saying hi, Risa. Risa, where? <laughs> oh, there she is. There she is. Hi, Risa. Hi, Risa. Risa does makeup, is in the house. Yeah, room. in the house. Um. Risa has all of the Chanel blushes because she used to work for Chanel. Lucky. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So I got In Love as well. And Mona's already swatched that for you guys. That was the first one, right? Mm -hmm. The really peachy one with the mm -hmm. gold. What was this one? Sheen. Really beautiful. And then I also got Rose Initial, which mm -hmm. was the really pinky one. Mm -hmm. That was this one right here. And then I got Rose Ekron. Mm -hmm. So that's the different one that I got. I'm trying to think if I. Hi, Michelle. Mona and Risa. Hello. Um, okay. Rose Ekron. This is number 68. And this one's a little bit more nude than the Rose initial. So it's a little bit more like neutral. Mm -hmm. yeah, you can barely see it. <laughs> Let me get a better swatch. That's so pretty. I was looking at that too. So there is, let's see, there. You guys can see it. Isn't that pretty? It's so pretty. So I got that one, and now I have to see if I have, <laughs> if I have evening beige. What is wrong with my memory? It is like really shot. No, I don't That's think funny. Rose Ekron is new, right? I don't I don't believe so. I don't believe so. And Will, you asked, did you order the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Instant Palette? I did. The eyeshadow palette? Yes. I did not. Is that the one? Risa just put up a video. Yes, Risa just did Everyone, a video. Everyone, check out Risa Does Makeup. Yes. She just did a review video of Charlotte Tilbury's Pillow Talk. Yes. Go check it out. Yeah. Um... I don't have evening beige and I wanted that one too. Which one's that one? I don't know. I don't have it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it's like a nice, like kind of neutral color. Why did I get is that eyeshadow or is it foundation? No, it's a I mean, blush. blush. You know what? I wonder if that one is limited edition and it wasn't there. You know, like the Chanel blushes are sneaky. Mm -hmm. They are super sneaky. Now I need to know what color that is. I don't. Even I do know. have tweed beige, and that is one of my all. Oh my god, I love tweed blushes. beige. That's yeah. one of my favorite too. So good. It's a little bit peachier. I think it's closer to Jersey than Golden Sun. If you're interested. Ooh, is that the color? Hold on. Yeah. Sorry. Now we're looking up evening beige. This is evening beige. 
<laughs> Ooh, that's pretty. Tempt Alia. Yeah. Sorry. No, I don't think we have that one. Uh, Susan, Michelle, do you still love the Surat Dewdrop? I do. Oh, oh yes. Yeah. That, that was, was both of our favorites from 2019. Yep. Our, that was our favorite foundation of 2019. Yeah. It was so good. Yeah. And Mona would wear it to go on interviews, mm -hmm. like all day interviews. Mm -hmm. So it was just, you knew it was just rock solid foundation. Mm -hmm. It was that kind of foundation because I always know when a foundation is really good when I go on interviews because when you're on an interview, it's first of all, those are long days. And then they, you're like, you know, you have anxiety, you're like sweating, you're meeting a bunch of people. You're eating, you're stuffing your face. You don't have a chance to go to the bathroom and take a look at what you look like. So I know that a foundation is really good when it withstands one of my interview days. And that foundation was my 2019 interview foundation. And it did such a great job. And I freaking love it. Hi from Australia. Hello. So the TF um, has more coverage than the Surratt and the Sicily. And it's radiant. Like the Surratt. And the packaging is beautiful. Mm -hmm. And I'm getting it too. <laughs> Um, I can't, I can't get a grip on the Tom Ford shade range. 